What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a retreat team deathmatch game. I don't know what I go, but uh, pretty sure it's a little bit fast paced. And today's topic is going to be the, uh, well, it's going to be an episode of Squeaker Stories, episode 3 to be exact, and um, it's just going to be my most valuable lesson I ever learned. And uh, I was actually just talking to my mom about this, and I've been thinking about making this video all day. Uh, but real quick before I get into the topic, sorry for not uploading yesterday. I was in a really bad mood, um, and I learned that I should never make videos when I'm in a bad mood because they always turn out really bad. Um, so anyway, uh, most valuable lesson I ever learned. Um, so in eighth grade, I had this teacher. I'm gonna say her name because it's a very common name. Her name was Miss McGuire. She was my English teacher, and she was actually my history teacher. Um, the, like the year before so I had her for history and uh, I forget what other subject but anyway she was my English teacher in eighth grade and she taught us this lesson one day and it's actually stuck with me until this day um, so I don't remember what the book was called but we were reading this really short story uh, it took us about 15 minutes to read in class and then we watched a 10 minute movie that was made on it. Uh, if you guys know what it's called please tell me in the comments section but I'm going to tell you about it so, the story was a small town of about 200 people, I think it was, and they, uh, every year, they, they, like, they lived all together, everybody knew each other, and then every year they would gather on the anniversary, on some anniversary, and, um, they would pick a name out of a hat to, for somebody to kill, and, um, the person that was killed like they, there was no way they could not get killed and um my teacher just taught us like or well I'm gonna what happened was the that year the rich per a rich person was picked and she tried to pay it off she was a mother uh she tried to use that as an excuse and, then, and she tried to use all these different excuses but no one was biting it um finally they ended up killing her um so it might sound like a morbid book for a catholic school but it's teaching you a lesson so, my teacher says, alright, so we're going to do our own version of this story. And we're all like, oh, cool. So she says, everybody who wants their name put in the hat, raise their hand. So they put everybody's name in the hat. And then she gave out these pieces of paper. And she said, if you get the red dot, you get a zero on your next vocab quiz. If you don't get the red dot, there's only one red dot. If you don't get the red dot, you'll get a hundred. So if you have a blank piece of paper, you'll get a hundred. If not, you'll get a red dot, and you'll get a zero. So we all, of course, we're taking the opportunity to get to, uh, opportunity to get the free hundred on the test, and um, so we all do it except for like two people. And she, uh, she says you can't open them until I tell you you can open them. So we're like okay. Um, so she says we can open them, and then we all realize that we all got red dots. So then we all start freaking out. Like, you said only one person was getting red dot. How's that fair? Well, she said, so I want to ask you guys a question. Why do you think it's fair that you let your team or let your classmates risk getting a zero on a quiz that, just so you can get a 100? Um... So why would you enter something and then not want to face the consequences of entering it? And that really stuck with me because she basically just said, like, why would you do something that you don't want to do? Like, why would you enter something where there could be a consequence that you don't like? And that kind of made me think a little bit. Like, what if, uh, what if one of my friends got that zero? How would I feel? And I just got a free hundred. Um, it wouldn't feel too good. And... Um, it, like, it's, it, it's just a really good lesson, like, d don't do anything that you, like, don't enter yourself into anything, or don't let anybody enter into anything that you think won't be fair to everybody in the competition. Um, like, if you want to enter a basketball tournament, but the best team has an advantage by 10 because they're the best team, how's that fair? Um, or any team, by that matter, starts with a, a 10. Um, or they pick a name from a hat, and that's how they play the tournament. They pick names out of the hat for the first, it's a 32-team bracket, and 
uh, the first round is all picking names out of a hat to get it to the top 16. Well, that wouldn't be fair. So just, like, you got to think about it that way. How would you react if that was your team, or how would you react if that was you? Because um, everybody's fine with it until they're the one who's facing the consequences. And that really was a lesson that I really, really, I really liked, and it really stuck with me. And it's only two years later um, after that lesson, but it just made me, like, it just really makes you think. Uh, what would you do if that was you in that situation? So... Just think about that, guys. And anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, be down, description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.